Turning on the dish, a chef whose latest project isn't one restaurant, but a hotel full of them. John Frazier grew up in a Los Angeles suburb, eating fruits and veggies from his family's backyard, and fish caught up on camping trips. And he's brought a love of fresh, local produce to restaurants throughout his career, including his current New York venues, the Vegetarian Nick's and the Loyal, a neighborhood brasserie. Now he's in charge of all the dining options at Ian Schrager's new Times Square Edition Hotel, including the ninth floor terrace restaurant and outdoor gardens, fine dining at 701 West, and nightlife and dining at Paradise Club. Chef John Frazier, welcome to The Dish. Thanks Thank for you. being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. Tell us Morning. what's on this great table. I'm going to start from that end over there. Um, that's mushroom carpaccio. So it's thinly sliced mushrooms over an arugula salad. Mm. And it looks pretty carroty this morning. We have um, roasted carrots in, in a bag, which steams and roasts at the same oh, time. Yeah. That's a Nick's dish. Here is carrot bolognese. So it's a vegetarian bolognese style dish. And this is a, a vegan cauliflower tempura. Then lastly, an apple cook pot. Apples, brown sugar, oats. And our beverage. And a drink, right? My favorite is a, a Manhattan. I like mine perfect, which is sweet and dry vermouth. Uh, oh, bitters very nice. and bourbon. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Fantastic. Cheers. So one of the fascinating things reading about you, you studied anthropology in college. Mm. How do you go from studying anthropology to then right. becoming a cook? All the way through college, I was cooking and bartending and working in restaurants. And really, I would be sitting in class saying, like, damn, I can't wait to get to, to my job, right? And, and I think that I found a passion in some of that misfit culture of restaurants and bars, <laughs> um, but also uh, making people happy, right? You get this like immediate satisfaction of yeah. it's in your mouth. I, I can hear you say yes, and it makes me feel good. I love that you have a vegetarian restaurant in yeah. the Knicks. I just adore anyone who takes that leap of faith after coming off of a career where you've worked with some of the giants. Yeah. What gave you the faith to do that? Yeah. Um, I had a restaurant called Dovetail on the Upper West Side for about a decade, and uh, as I, my, my diet started to shift towards vegetables, I started to bring that into the restaurant, and lo and behold, a whole new group of people started to join us, people that we hadn't seen before. Um, and I recognized there was something happening there. At the same time, people were getting like pig tattoos in kitchens. Yeah. We were starting to think about <laughs> what does it look like to feel great after dinner, right? right. What does it make, make mm -hmm. that you're not felt weighed down, mm -hmm. right? We won't ask you to show your pig tattoo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I do, but I do want to talk about a pivotal moment in, in your career, which mm -hmm. was when you were, went to work at the French Laundry yeah. with Thomas Keller, yeah. who, who you said basically changed the way you saw the world. Absolutely. Um, Thomas is a mentor and, and someone that, you know, he's still, he's in my orbit, right? And a lot of the decisions that we make, it's sort of like... You hear his voice? What, what would Thomas, Thomas do? do? Yeah, <laughs> totally. And, and, it's, and it's not just because of the hard times, but it's also the really nurturing times. Mm -hmm. um, the moments of, of, of rough times in kitchens are really the times you recognize how much people care. Talk about this latest project of yours, the Times Square Edition Hotel, yeah. which, is, which is just massive. It is. How do you wrap your mind around something that right. big? Um, well, first of all, I have a huge team, yeah. so it's not just my mind, it's many minds. Um, it's been a great experience working with Ian Schrager and team. They're, they're fantastic, and yep. they really do have a vision, and it's, it's our job to get it to, to market. Um, but it's four restaurants, and we've been sort of successfully in succession opening them one at a time. And you have one other project, yeah. the Met Project. Yeah. Tell me more about that. I mean, the museum. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's my favorite museum in the city, and you know, you obviously answer the phone when they call. Um, <laughs> It's, it, you know, the interesting part about it is, that, you know, how do you interject yourself into something that's been there for so long? So we tried to kind of approach it like an exhibit, right? And we'll uh -huh. be able to change it, you know, every four months through the seasons as an exhibit would. The team there is really great as well. And again, you know, introducing ourselves to a whole new segment of people. Food is art yeah. as well. It and really that view is across experience. Central Park, I mean, it is. Oh, it's oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. The perfect well, spot. We'll have you sign the ah, dish. Cool. The perfect ending. If you could have this meal with anyone past or present. Yeah, be. that one's easy for me. Um, Jane Goodall is someone that I have oh. yeah, my whole life since I was just a little kid. Mm -hmm. Her compassion, her, her way, and, and the way that she's, she kind of approaches life, I think it's just really incredible. Chef John Frazier, thank you. And for yeah. more on Chef Frazier and the dish, you can head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.